here back today with a video and this is going to be my NRL tips for round two last week I had an absolute shocker I only got two from eight you know lots of upsets in round one as you'd expect you know it's early in the season and you can expect a few upsets now and again but boy it was a massive round of, of shock results but let's get into it so round two gets underway it's on Thursday the 17th of March. It sees the Melbourne Storm versus the South Sydney Rabbitohs at Amy Park in Melbourne. South Sydney Rabbitohs, the massive in is Latrell Mitchell. He's back at fullback for the first time this season after being suspended last year. So a massive in for the Rabbitohs in the fullback role. Melbourne Storm have got a lot of injuries and massive outs as well with the likes of Brandon Smith, Christian Walsh, and George Jennings all been ruled out due to injuries, and they're going to miss quite a few few months as well. So, look, despite that, Melbourne Storm still a very strong side on paper. South Sydney Rabbitohs have named a pretty good team as well, but I'm going to go with the Melbourne Storm to win here at home. They're very tough to beat down at Amy Park, and South Sydney Rabbitohs don't have a good record against the Melbourne Storm in Melbourne. So I'm going to tip the Melbourne Storm to win by 10 points over the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Anytime try scorers, I'm going to go with Ryan Pappenhuysen, Xavier Coates, and Dean Irma Meyer. On to the next game. It's on Friday the 8th of March, and there's two games on Friday. The first game is the Georgia Illawarra Dragons versus Penrith Panthers at Net Strata Jubilee Stadium. St. George Illawarra Dragons coming off their victory over the Warriors in round one at Sunshine Coast Stadium last Saturday. Penrith Panthers coming off a very big win, a statement victory over the Manly Seagulls up there in Penrith to kickstart their premiership title defence. And they also had no Nathan Cleary, so it was a huge statement. The likes of Sean O'Sullivan played well. Dylan Edwards was outstanding as well. So Penrith, they pretty much named the same lineup too. So I, I think the Dragons will find it very difficult to go with Penrith in this one. I'm going to go Panthers to be way too strong here by 28 plus points over the Dragons. Anytime Trostras, I'm going to go with Dylan Edwards, Charlie Staines and Stephen Crichton. The last game on Friday sees the Sydney Roosters versus the Manly Seagulls at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Sydney Roosters coming off a massive shock upset loss to the Newcastle Knights at the Sydney Cricket Ground last week. So second week they're playing at the SCG. Manly Seagulls got outplayed, simply outplayed, by the Premiers and the Penrith Panthers down in Penrith. I'm expecting this to be a very close and tight contest between these two teams. Um, obviously one of these teams will want to get their first win of the season going into the next week. So I'm going to go with the Roosters by six points. Anytime try scorer, I'm going to go with Daniel Tupo, Ruben Garrick, and I'm going to go with Tommy Turbo to score this week, even though he had a quiet game against Penrith. On to Saturday now, and this is the second game on Saturday. I will be doing a separate preview video for the Gold Coast Titans versus New Zealand Warriors game. On the YouTube channel tomorrow. So stay tuned for that one. But Cronulla Sharks versus Parramatta Eels. A game which I found very difficult to pick. It has been played at Points Bet Stadium. In Sydney. First game for the Cronulla Sharks at home. In a very long time. Cronulla Sharks. Last week I thought in the first half. They were very disappointed against the Canberra Raiders. Second half they played a lot better. They were coming back into it. They had a field goal by Matty Moylan. I thought they were going to go on and win. But. Not to be. For Parramatta Eels, 
against the Gold Coast Titans. That was a very high scoring game. Lots and lots of tries. Defensively, that game was out of the window for me when watching it. Parramatta, you could say they're very fortunate to get away with that result, but I thought they were the better team in general. Now, I'm going to go and tip the Sharks here to win by four points. It's a game that could go either way. It could go to Golden Point. You know, it could be a couple of tries in it, but I've gone with the Sharks to win by four. Anytime try scoring, I'm going to go with Sione Katoa, William Kennedy, and Matt Ikevalu. The last game on Saturday sees the North Queensland Cowboys versus the Canberra Raiders, and this has been played at the Queensland Country Bank Stadium in Townsville. Cowboys, geez, they, they had the chance to win against the Bulldogs at home last week, and boy, they, they really blew it. For the Canberra Raiders, a good victory for them to start the season up there in Canberra. A lot of people weren't expecting them to win. I didn't pick them to win, to be quite honest. I had the Sharks, but... You know, Jack Wyden had a massive game as 200th, and yeah, they they played very well against the Sharks. So, another difficult game to pick here, but I'm going to go with the home team. I'm going to stick with the home team, the North Queensland Cowboys, to win. But I think it'll be a very close game, so I'm going to go Cowboys by 8. Anytime try scores, I'm going to go Hamaso Tebo Fidel, Peter Heku, Murray Tulangi, Nick Kotrick and Tomoko the crossover for the Raiders. Now to Sunday afternoon, sees the Newcastle Knights versus the West Tigers down at McDonald Jones Stadium in Newcastle. Knights coming off that huge win over the star shredded Sydney Roosters team at the Sydney Cricket Ground last week. It's been a long time for the Newcastle Knights since they last got a victory over the Sydney Roosters, so a big confidence booster for them going into this round two game. At Newcastle. For the West Tigers. Very competitive against the Melbourne Storm. Probably should have done a lot better. And got the victory over the Melbourne Storm. But there are some good signs here for the West Tigers. Jackson Hastings played a good game as well. So look. This game always points to a Newcastle victory. Because they're at home. But this would be typical of Newcastle. After the first week. Getting a, a surprising result. Then the next week, you know, they lose to someone like a West Tigers. So it would not surprise me if Newcastle, you know, went down to the West Tigers in this game. But in saying that, I'm going to stick with Newcastle. I'm going to tip them to win. And I'm going to pick them by 12 points over the Tigers. Anytime try scorers, I'm going to go with Dominic Young, Dane Gagai, and Inari Tuwala. Now the last game to round off round two of the NRL sees the Canterbury Banks Temple Bulldogs. Versus the Brisbane Broncos. This game has been played at Sydney as well. Um, for the Bulldogs. Very ugly result against the Cowboys. Up there in Townsville. But it's two points nonetheless. And it's, and it's good to go to Townsville and get that result. For the Broncos. 11-4 victory over the South Sea Rabbitohs. Up there at Suncorp Stadium. Brisbane Broncos. I thought their defence was outstanding. And... Um, yeah, it's probably been the best defence they've ever had in, in a long time. So, look, they probably could have scored a lot more tries against South City Rabbitohs, in my personal opinion. But I think in this game, I'm going to go with the Broncos to win. And I'm picking them to win by 14 points over the Bulldogs. And any type of try scorer, I'm going to go with Selwyn Cobo, Xavier. Uh, not, not Xavier, sorry. I mean, Corey Oates and Herbie Farnworth to score in this game. Now, that wraps up my NRL tips for round two. I'll just repeat my tips for those of you who missed them. So, Melbourne Storm by 10. Um, Penrith Panthers by 28. Roosters by, by 6. Sharks by 4. Cowboys by 8. Knights by 12. And the Broncos by 14. But don't forget, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Click the like button on the video as well. Click the thumbs up. Click the bell so you don't miss a notification when I go live on the YouTube channel next and when I upload a new video. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.